Welcome to my YouTube channel, Davin Sports Combo. It's me, Davin. And I just wanted to give a big shout out to my other social media handles before the video started, such as my Instagram, at Davin Sports Combo. I also have a Twitch stream called Davin SC. And then I got a Patreon account, Davin Sports Combo. Check it all out. Enjoy this video. Sunday night football is a wrap, but not the NFL Week 14, as we have two Monday night football games, which is very weird for tomorrow. ABC and ESPN, both at 815. Tune in. Exciting. Hopefully, I get those games correct compared to this week's uh, predictions and picks that I did. Hopefully you check that video out. Go check it out. My week 14 picks before I spoil them all right here. Uh, but yeah, moving on. I went four for nine so far of the week. And we have two more Monday night games. So there, there's no way I'm going to break 500. Hopefully if I get those two right, I go six and nine. It's still really bad. Really, really bad. And uh, yeah, as we can tell, Dallas won 33-13 to Philadelphia. Impressive rivalry win at home. Let's go. I got that's one I got right. And even even though I don't like the Cowboys, you know, but hey, I, that's what happens, you know. Like let's go, you know. So hey, I just want to give a recap and go through my picks, go through, you know, what I got wrong, what I got right. And uh yeah. So yeah. Skipping over, we got the LA Rams at Baltimore. I chose the Rams in a tight knit game. It was back and forth, shots firing, going. You had Baltimore come out on top, 37-31. to 31. Odell Beckham with the touchdown, 97 yards. Also, Zay Flowers had a touchdown. Lamar was slinging it with three touchdowns. And then you had Cooper Cup with the touchdown, 115 yards off eight for 10 uh, targets. Very impressive. But unfortunately, the Baltimore Ravens came out on top. I should have chose them. I usually do. But they have the toughest schedule of the whole league. So it's kind of like a 50-50 when they win. But... Luckily, they got this great win, and that will help them for the rest of the season, especially in playoff seating. Also, now we're moving on. Houston at New York Jets. C.J. Stroud went down. Unfortunately, they, they tell why the Jets won. That's the only reason you won, Jets. Accept it. C.J. Stroud going down. All right? You know. Uh, yeah. The only impressive stat, really. Garrett Wilson, give him a shout-out. 14 targets, 9 receptions. 108 yards, no touchdown. Yep, that's what the Jets give you there. Brees Hall was over 100 yards scrimmage. Very impressive. Now, moving on, I'm going to go quick here. Carolina, New Orleans. I was wrong. I was wrong. New Orleans won. I should have picked them. I was playing around. I was just poking fun at, you know, the Lions being the Saints, and I thought they would keep losing. But, again, it's at their home, so they had to go at least 500 at their home this season, or it wouldn't be the Saints. Alva Kamara, give him a shout-out. 12 rushes, 56 yards, and a touchdown. Moving on, I was wrong on this as well. Indianapolis at Cincinnati. Cincinnati with Browning coming out on top, beating Minshew Mania. Who could have saw it coming? Joe Mixon with 21 rushes, 79 yards, and a touchdown. He's carrying that run game. And then Mike Pittman on the other side of the ball, or at least the other team for the Colts. You know, you got to give shout-out even to the losers. Had 11 targets, 8 catches, 95 yards coming out. But uh, a fortunate loss for Indianapolis. They actually needed that more than Cincinnati. So, uh, man, that is gut-wrenching. Um, moving on, Tampa Bay at Atlanta. This is one I got right. First one I got right. Let's go celebrate. I picked Tampa to beat Atlanta. I thought it was, honestly, it was a coin flip. Uh, Rasheed Wright, it's nice. He came out to 102 yards and a touchdown. I want to just give this guy a big shout-out, even though the Atlanta Falcons suck on offense and lost. Drake London, 10 for 11 targets, 100. Let me make sure I got this right. 72 yards. Wow. No touchdowns. Classic. But uh, shout out to Drake London. What an impressive receiver. If he actually had a quarterback, could you imagine what would happen? Dominance. All right. Moving on. Jacksonville letting me down. I got this wrong at Cleveland. Cleveland came out on top 31 to 27 with David Nujoku. Getting touchdown passes from Joe Flacco, the the all-time leading passer for the Ravens. It's hard seeing him in a Browns uniform, but we had it, and he, we did it, and we all saw it. It happened. David Nujoku and the Browns come out on top. 
Impressive person to give a shout-out for Jacksonville. Evan Ingram, 12 targets, 11 catches off the 12 with two touchdowns. Two, just like David Nujoku. Very impressive. It was a tight end day out there for that game. Now, moving on to the unfortunate news. As you can tell, I'm not wearing my jersey. I'm wearing something nice. Maybe I'm going to a funeral. No. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the Lions lost to Chicago. That was a gut-wrenching game. I actually got this right. I knew Chicago was going to win. I told you all it was going to happen. I didn't want this to happen. I didn't, you know, I, and when even when I was watching, I was like, man, this is going to actually happen. You know, the first half was great. Second half, the doors just let open. But Chicago came out on top 28-13. to 13. Our kicker, need, we need a new kicker if we actually want to compete for a Super Bowl. It's holding us back. But a key shout-out, key performers, DJ Moore, 6 for 10 with the touchdown. And then Jameer Gibbs, 11 rushes, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Great to see. But, yeah, Chicago came out on top. It's good for them. They're fighting for their job. So, yeah, that defense looks stout to give them credit. Montez Sweat is a monster. But I'm glad we don't have to play them anymore. I don't know what they're playing for other than their jobs. But we'll see how the season ends and who comes out on the NFC North top. I know it's not going to be the Bears. So, yeah, moving on. Seattle for the 4 o'clock games we have going on. Seattle at 49ers. Geno Smith did not play. 49ers came out on top like they did in the previous, so it's a full sweep against the rivalry. And it was 28-16. to Debo Samuel, 7 for 9, 149 yards and a touchdown. Woo! And then DK Metcalf with a touchdown because he just manhandles whoever's guarding him. You can always count DK to get a touchdown. Uh, and now I'm going to skim through these last three games because the, for me, I didn't get the chance to see them. I was driving home. It's crazy. But run down. Minnesota came out on top over Las Vegas, three over zero. No key performers there. I am not talking key performers in that game. Denver at Los Angeles Chargers. We have Denver coming out on top 24-7. That's the Lions' next key matchup. Saturday night, prime time. Let's go. It's going to be a tough game especially how we played against the bears so denver came out on top keeping their playoff hopes alive chargers are buried look out for the head coach firing coming up soon unfortunately and then for the final game of the four o'clocks we have buffalo and kansas city i chose buffalo i got it correct let's go and then the previous two games i just talked about i got wrong and that's why i kind of skipped through but i got this right Buffalo coming out top. It was a tight knit game. Kadarius Tony at the end got that play called back because he was offsides. And then Mahomes was being a crybaby at the end. Classic Mahomes. Everyone's trying to make it a big thing. And I mean, except a lot of the refs didn't help you win a game this time. You know, like be a Chiefs. Like that's what you know. That's the only way you can win. You know, we watched the Super Bowl. Did anyone else watch the Super Bowl? But yeah, Buffalo came out on top 2017. Big shout out to James Cook with 100 scrimmage yards and a touchdown. And as I mentioned earlier, we had Philadelphia at Dallas. Philadelphia losing to Dallas 33-13. Woo, tough games, tough sledding. But, yeah, that is your NFL Week 14 recap and review of my game picks for the Sunday slate of games. Can't wait for the two Monday night football games. Let's go. So if one's born, we got another one we get to switch over to. Bop, bop, you know, I all I care about is competitive games. That's all I care about, and for me to be right. So that's that's this is to tell you my priority, you know, my what is matters to me. But uh, yeah, so hopefully I do better next time around. Stay tuned for more for my future game picks for Week 15 coming out this Wednesday. Let's go. Hopefully I do better and actually get a positive record. I will take four nine for now. We'll see how that develops tomorrow. Let's go. Thank you so much again for watching my video. Stay tuned for more content. Like, share, and subscribe. And don't ever hesitate to comment. And I'm ready to jump on anything and respond right back to you. Thanks again. And enjoy the upcoming holidays from yours truly.